Our next guest is Charlie Groves from Flint River Armory. How's it going? Good, Colin. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It's, it's a pretty decent day here in Dallas, so I'm, you know, I'm making it. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible day in North Alabama at about <laughs> 78 degrees and sunshine. So. Oh, okay. Well, well, touche. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us about Flint River Armory. Well, uh, just kind of the five minute or less tour here. We're uh, we we started this a little over five years ago, kind of as a joke after work. And uh, we all built training systems for uh, Marine Corps and Navy UAV. And uh, we started talking about it and uh, went from a napkin to a whiteboard <laughs> to a 3D CAD program. And uh, now we started delivering to customers about nine months ago. So we opted for the, the gas piston because nobody else had done it. Yeah. And we were curious. Okay. Uh, and that's kind of where we are now. It's a bunch of engineers and me, a retired naval aviator. That's how we got this whole thing started. Hey, I've, 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 I've had my experience in that some of the best gun makers are engineers <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah. So, the, so uh, yeah, we're pretty meticulous. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I know some of my friends are engineers, and it, to the <laughs> to their detriment sometimes. <laughs> yes, that is a true statement. <laughs> so, what what are some of the uh, some of your new or notable products? Well, r right now we have our forty five out. We do a uh, four, uh, sixteen inch barrel carbine, and a ten inch barrel SBR, and a ten inch barrel uh, uh, pistol variant. Okay. And we're working on now, and we're actually we, we we've already have the first couple of prototypes done we're going to do an integrated suppressor on one as well we're going to do a nine you know the 10 inch barrel a nine inch can overlap mm -hmm. it for about three inches or so and uh roll the forearm over the top of the can and uh so far that's working out pretty well yeah we let some people shoot it and they like it so, uh we're coming go ahead i'm sorry no no go ahead it's uh the delay here uh <laughs> we're working on a nine millimeter version of it as well Okay, because I'm cause, we're going to come out with that sometime in late summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a proprietary mag because we do a four lug lock and bolt. Okay, and that dictated that we do our own magazine just to have reliability of feed. Uh, it's a twenty five round stainless steel. So, so it's that's, proprietary. That's it is. Okay, it is proprietary, but it works like a champ. We're real happy with it. Awesome. Now, now, why did you guys decide to to start off with the forty five car uh, carbine? That that would be on me. I, I'm I'm a 45 guy. So okay. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a 40 and a 45. I don't even own a nine mil. So it's, really, yep. We started out with that, and uh, and I, I don't know. We've been pretty happy with it. You know, it's uh, I, I like that. I like it. we get the performance out of the out of our system now. Our gas piston really helps on a recoil. Mm -hmm. It's a very smooth recoil impulse. We get a little bit better performance with the lock and bolt. So, but you know, a lot of people like nine, so we're going to do a nine. Next. <laughs> you don't see, That's, you don't see too ecstatic about that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I'd rather do a 10 millimeter, but you know, you have to, it's a that, business. That would be interesting. That would be incredibly interesting. I, I, I think I'd, sec, I'd, I'd have to second you on that with respect to the 10 millimeter. I'm a 10 millimeter fan. I don't shoot it very often, but I am a right. fan of it. It's kind of more of a mythical cartridge to me. More well, than it is, know. but if you look at, if you take our platform, with the performance we're getting out of a 45, I mean, we're getting over 1,200 feet per second really? out of the 16-inch barrel with the 185 Hornadies. So it's it, it you, it's a and it shoots flat and it's very accurate. What, what was the capacity on that again on the magazines for it? 25. 25. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I think there's a big case to make for 25 rounds of 45 ACP coming from a uh, an SBR carbine. I I. I, I can right. dig that. I can definitely well, dig that. Well, you know, I'll give a little plug in here. Uh, Iraq veteran 8888 did uh -huh. a video review on us, and that's just gone kind of crazy over that. Yeah, he ran uh, he ran an SBR that I use as a demo that's got, I don't know, 12,000 rounds in the thing yeah. now, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it was great. It, uh, I love the SBR. I mean, that's, that's the perfect size for that cartridge. Oh, yeah, no, I'm a big fan. Big fan. I'm a big fan of Iraq veteran, veteran as well. Um, and so I – it's I've always so I run I run a nine millimeter carbine at home um, okay. and and for largely because everything I shoot, generally speaking, is a nine millimeter. Right. But I, I have entertained the notion of, you know, at that point, usually I don't carry 45 because I'm limited in capacity. 
Correct. And then, of That's course, you know, and then you can make the arguments in terms of being able to shoot 45 fa- or not as fast as a nine and so forth and so on. But I feel like if you get it in the carbine setup on the carbine platform um, where size is not so much an issue as it is when you're carrying a gun um, and then That's being right. able to have the capacity not being an issue as well. I think there's an incredibly strong case for a 45 in that sense. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, and and it's you know I carry a forty five sometimes, but I also carry a forty, uh-huh. and you have to weigh that what capacity you have because it's it, it things do not work you know the plan falls apart at first contact right pretty much yeah so more rounds is always a better idea <laughs> but yeah that that's why we looked at that with with this carving platform I mean you get the accuracy obviously with the magazine you get the capacity and you get the stability out of it because of the you know the long and the sight radius yeah so. And, and, you know, and you can read all the studies and look at all the numbers <laughs> about 9 millimeter versus 40 yep, versus sure 45. Like I said, I'm an old guy. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I'm, not, I'm not holding it against you. Yeah, I, well, thank you. I, I'm I holding the 40 against you, though. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's an old <laughs> habit from 20-something years ago. No, um, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> it, I know, man. I, I know. Everybody, everybody, you know, you, you ask anybody and everybody's got an opinion. Yeah, no, but, absolutely, uh, absolutely. I have to look at it from a personal defense perspective, and, okay. and that's what we designed this to be as a personal defense weapon. Gotcha. To that, a 230 grain hollow point 45 moving at about 900 feet per second at close quarters would be fairly effective. Yeah, at I, what I have, you need it. I think there's something to say about 45 moving at 900 feet per second suppressed. It makes it even yes. more effective. <laughs> Yes, it does, uh, and it really is. That that I, that's what I. It's it's a lot of fun to shoot suppressed. Yeah, especially and, with something uh, moving at subsonic speeds. Oh yeah, and and that's the thing. When you run to one eighty five, it's not subsonic. You still get a pretty good crack yeah. out of it. Yeah. But the two thirties are below a thousand feet, and uh, especially out of the ten inch barrel. But it's uh, yeah, it's just fun. I <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And the uh, the recoil impulse that we get really makes that a lot smoother too. And, and and it's interesting because nobody's ever shot a gas piston forty five. Gotcha. So it's it's interesting to have people shoot it and then go, well that's not what I expected. Yeah. Now for people who don't really understand the distinction, what for, explain to them on a on a very kind of elementary level what you mean by gas piston. Oh, okay. I, yeah, very good. That, that that that's actually a very good point. Uh, your typical handgun and, and you have to equate this back to a handgun because of the cartridge that we're using runs off a of blowback. That means pure physics. Uh, cartridge detonates, yeah. bullet goes one way, everything else goes the other way. <laughs> and, and when you get to a carbine, it's, that's why a lot of those have a, have a pretty massive uh, uh, bolt carrier because you have to have that assembly to get the energy and the momentum to, to put the energy back in the buffer system and then, in off, you know, and then be able Perfect. to recoil, load, and do that. An AR typically runs off a gas impingement system, which means you pick up the gas in the barrel, but then it flows back into the bolt carrier, yeah. and it blows it one way and the other way. And it's just, it's, it's, that's very dirty, but it works. It's very yeah. efficient. What we did is we have a gas port in the barrel, and that gas goes into the chamber, hits a little 9-millimeter piston, a little short stroke. The short stroke is very short. It's like it's a little hammer. Yeah. And, and that's what imparts the energy into the bolt carry. And that's why we can use a pretty small bolt carry because we don't need it. We yeah. don't need the mass. Yeah, and, and you and know, it's, it's, it's interesting you pointed out the, the recoil sensation because, you know, I, I've noticed quite often there's such, a, there's such a massive distinction between the recoil impulse on, on, a, on a straight gas gun versus a piston, piston gun. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. There it is. And, and it's been fun. I mean, it, it's interesting because a lot of women like to shoot it. Uh, you know, my wife's five foot two and yeah. 57. <laughs> and so she's uh, and she loves to shoot it, and she's very accurate with it. Yeah. And I've had several women who have never never handled a firearm in their life, and got them to go out and shoot it, and they they, they enjoy it. I have a 12 year old nephew that shot it. One of my business partners, his eight year old son, has, yeah. has shot it. That's awesome. And so yeah, it is. It it because it's balanced in the recoil impulse, and it's not very heavy anyway. We've kept it as light as we can, and being very sturdy. Gotcha. Are, are there any plans to go up into uh, some of the bigger calibers, or are you guys going to stay specifically in the pistol range? Uh, I think initially, I mean, th- th- that's a big discussion, right? Mm-hmm. And and you have to look at it. I mean, you have your interest, and I have interest in something I'd like to do, but you also have to look at it from a business perspective as well. 
and we have it. We have a niche, and and I, I want to take over that niche. Yeah. And uh, so it's, you got to have plans, right? And ambition. But <laughs> so I think right now we're going to stick with pistol calibers. But yeah, we we discussed it. I mean, we a couple of options we have. You know, everybody likes 308. I like 308. That'd be awesome. And here's something about our platform that you if, if you look at it, you can go online or whatever. But our lower and our buffer compartment is cut out of the same aluminum billet. It's a monolithic piece of aluminum. And we did that for strength. We said we want it sturdy. And then that's one of the, the weak points on an AR platform is if you look at the lower receiver, you got the tang that sticks up that the the buffer system you know fits into with the castle nut. Yeah. That's a weak point on the lower and also just for that real thin little tube. You can take hours and beat a door down with it. And you won't hurt it. Um, I had somebody, I told them that, and they took me at my word. And, <laughs> in fact, it was interesting because we spring our firing pin as well. Just we We're concerned with slam fire, and we're trying to think gotcha. yeah. through all the scenarios Absolutely. and issues that you might have. And uh, he put a round in the chamber and put it on fire, pointed it down range, and slammed it butt first into a big wooden table as hard as he could about three times. Damn. And I was kind of, no, he looked at it, and, and it, didn't, it didn't fire. And he certainly didn't break anything. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> thank God for that. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> he he, he, he kind of off-checked our, our, our concept there. Yeah. Hey, no, I mean, I'm glad it worked out. Let me say that much. <laughs> yeah, well, I was kind of going, it's like children, you know. Yeah. Your children might be little angels at home, but you never know when they go somewhere. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Charlie. I, I look forward to seeing what you guys have going down the line in the future. And um, be sure to join us when you definitely have something you want to talk about. Well, thank you. I really appreciate the time uh, and and have a great day. Thanks for all you do, man. Absolutely. Thank really you very much. It. Absolutely. Great. Have a yeah, great have a good day. One, Charlie. We've got another quick break, and then we're going to talk about some legislation that needs your attention.